As of the June 2023 update, there are currently 6 F-16s in the game. I see a lot of people wondering what is unique about each one, which one is the best, which American one they should play, stuff like that, so I hope this video helps break down the differences between the different variants. Before I get into that, I think it's worth talking about the F-16 flight model real quick. The F-16 is probably the most weight-sensitive plane I can think of. When it's heavy, it feels sluggish and doesn't pull very hard, but when it's light, it handles great. Every plane in the game does this to some extent, but it's especially noticeable on the F-16. I bring this up because the Block 15 and the Block 20 weigh an extra 300 kilograms, which is enough to make a difference. What this means for you is that the lighter F-16s pull about a half a G to one G more than their heavier counterparts at any given fuel and loadout weight. Don't get me wrong, I'm not calling the heavier ones bad, they're still very capable planes and extremely good dogfighters, it's just that the lighter ones are that little extra bit better, a little more enjoyable to actually fly, and if you fly them both back to back, the difference is noticeable enough to warrant being mentioned. F-16A Block 10, USA I'm starting with the Block 10 because I think it makes for a good baseline F-16 to compare the other ones against, despite sitting after the ADF in the American tree for some reason. It doesn't really have any features that make it stand out against the other F-16s. For air-to-air, -air, this is the least relevant F-16 as the other five either have Sparrows or better IR missiles, but the Block 10 has the most complete set of air-to-ground weapons, including the GBU-8, which you won't find on any other F-16. Other than that, there's not much to say. My general advice for ARB players is to just stick with the ADF, but the Block 10 is still very good, and by the time you've spaded the ADF, you probably know exactly what to expect from this one. No sparrows, but marginally better flight performance. F-16A Block 10 Nets, Israel. The Nets is a copy-paste Block 10 with ordnance differences. It doesn't have the GBU-8, but in the La Royale update, it got the Israeli Python 3 missile. This is the best short-range IR missile currently in the game. It has effectively the same seeker as the M9L, but it has superior range, speed, and pull. The developers likely gave it this missile because Israel is the only F-16 nation in the game that doesn't have access to one with BVR. The combination of the Python 3 with the lighter flight model makes the Nets the best F-16 for close range fighting, but like the American Block 10, the Nets can't compete in BVR at all. I do want to mention that, as of right now, the Nets has the standard 60 countermeasures, but if Gaijin decides to convert it to its 1987 spec in the future, it could get an additional 120 countermeasures for a total of 180. F-16A Block 15 ADF, USA and Italy. If I had to guess, I'd wager most of you will unlock the ADF as your first F-16. The ADF's big advantage over the Block 10 are the Sparrows. It's also the easiest F-16 to stock grind. Both ADFs are the only F-16s with access to stock AIM-9Ls, the rest either have AIM-9J or AIM-9P. On top of that, as I mentioned earlier, the American one sits before the Block 10 and the tree. What this means is that the modifications are a lot cheaper than all the other F-16s because end-of-line planes have inflated modification costs. Apart from the reduced modification costs on the American version, the American and Italian ADFs are identical. The Sparrows are a nice addition and help give you some extra reach to help you compete in medium range. The extra airframe weight is a bit of a drawback, but the ADF is still a highly competitive fighter, and if your focus is on Air RB, most players will find that they prefer it over the Block 10. However, the ADF is the only F-16 without any air-to-ground weapons at all. If you need casts, you'll have to keep going down the tree to get the Block 10, or if you're playing Italy, you'll have to go for something like the Tornado. F-16A Block 20 MLU, Taiwan. The MLU is the F-16 with the most bells and whistles. It has a unique cockpit that looks like one you would find on the F-16C, and it's the only F-16 in the game with a drag chute, which is a nice little bonus. Like the ADF, it has sparrows and the heavier flight model, but unlike the ADF, it has air-to-ground weapons as well. On top of that, the MLU has an extra flare dispenser, which gives you an extra 30 countermeasure slots and doubles the number of times you can tap the countermeasure key before running out. Finally, the MLU's radar is different from the standard F-16 radar because it has TWS. All things considered, the MLU is effectively a minor upgrade over the ADF. Extra flares in a chute are nice, but at the end of the day, the two planes share the same flight performance and air-to-air -air weapons, so they are functionally quite similar. F-16AJ, Japan The F-16AJ is a work of fiction by Gaijin. They looked at the proposed F-16A for Japan, and they guessed what a production F-16A in Japanese service would have looked like. What they cooked up was a Block 10 airframe that has Sparrows. Effectively, the MLU's weapons on the Block 10. This makes the AJ the best of both worlds F-16. It's the only F-16 that has SAR missiles and the better flight model. Its Sparrows are AIM-7F instead of AIM-7M found on the ADF and MLU, 
but as of right now, the two sparrows are functionally identical and it's just a cosmetic difference. The AJ is very well rounded because it doesn't have any compromises like the other ones do. Because of this, it's very comfortable to play and most people agree it's easily one of the best ones. However, I'd say it's impossible to definitively point to one F16 and call it the best one. It just comes down to your playstyle and what you're looking for. The MLU, AJ, and Nets are definitely the top three though. The versatility of the AJ is nice to have, but on the other hand, so are the extra countermeasures on the MLU. Personally though, my favorite F16 at the moment is definitely the Nets. The pythons are a lot of fun to use, and I've been having a blast with it this patch, but that's just a subjective opinion, and I know many people would rather have the Sparrows. If you like this style of video, let me know, and leave suggestions for aircraft families you want me to cover next. Thanks for watching.